Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars. And this is where I learned about the story No Boys Allowed. They teach schools girls about science, math. I snapped. Yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, V, whoever you are. I agree with you. <laughs> uh, I can understand why you would snap. This is infuriating. I just wanted to show this so you uh, know where I got this from. Appreciate that person on YouTube. Uh, no Boys Allowed Day teaches girls about science and math. This is outrageous. I guess we don't exist as people anymore. This is beyond belief. What, ha what would happen if we had a No Girls Allowed uh, day or something? The feminists would be going ballistic. Like I said, I guess we don't exist as people anymore. This is outrageous. Classrooms at Seattle University had a new rule on Saturday. No boys allowed. That's because it's... The annually Expanding Your Horizons program bringing together 500 middle school s girls from Washington State to learn about science, math, and engineering. The girls rotated through workshops focusing on veterinary medicine, infectious diseases, and robotics, to name a few. We're not trying to exclude boys, said Jen Sorensen, liar. The program's organizer and chemistry professor at Seattle University. We're trying to provide an opportunity for girls who might not even realize these career opportunities are available to them. Liar. Of course they know about it. Students as recently as last week suggest middle school students, girls, may not have as much as self-confidence in their scientific and mathematical abilities as boys, according to an article published in the Guardian newspaper, Liar. I think there's no boys so it can teach girls no matter what gender you are, you can still be what you want to be, said Josie, a sixth grader. You can be smart. No, they're teaching you hatred of boys. I'm glad to have a day without boys in uh, eighth grader. Yeah, you don't understand what's going on here. We got an opportunity for girls to get hands-on. Girls to work with each other, said Sorensen, who said the pro program has been exposing girls to science and math topics for 15 years. I'm stunned I never heard of this. This is, a, this is enraging. And here's the website for Expanding Your Horizons. Now, there's a name uh, for what they're teaching these girls. Name is Missandry. I'll show you the wicked, Wikipedia uh, name for it. Missandry, from the Greek Missos, Hatred and Andros, man, is hatred or dislike of men or boys. Misandry can be manifested in numerous ways, including sexual discrimination, duh, denigration of men, duh, violence against men, or sexual objectification. The form Misandris was first used in 1871. Misandry can take the form of marginalization of men in which they perform the most dangerous occupations and are regarded as being disposable. Duh. Men having lower life expectancy and higher suicides rates than women. I, yeah, I wonder why. It has been described as damaging to both men and women, preventing mutual respect between the sexes. Yeah, I would say so. Well, the word is relatively modern. Commentators have argued that 
implicit and even explicit misandry can be found in literature from ancient Greeks to Shakespeare and modern literature, such as the mo vagina monologues and even comic book heroes. I was stunned. I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I still can't. These people think they're doing the right thing. I can't believe this is happening. Uh, there's a movie, it was like a TV movie uh, from the 70s or 80s or something. It's called uh, Planet Earth. <laughs> men were, this was set in the future where men were. Uh, kept drugged up and under control of the women and they were called dinks. That's what we're becoming. We're losing our place in the world apparently. <laughs> you men better wake the hell up. This is fascism folks. This is disgusting and abhorred. I'm gonna, I am so gonna rip these sons of bitches. And to make matters worse, apparently these are Jesuits. Yeah, Saint. Ignatius Loyola founded the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, as they're commonly called, more than 450 years ago. Well, obviously, these people don't believe in Jesus, because Jesus would have never uh, approved of this. Well, here you go. I'm stunned. I don't know what else to say. This is misandry. This is gross discrimination. This is disgusting beyond... Oh my god. I can't believe this is happening in this country. I have no words. Other than these people have got to be stopped. Here's a so-called Christian university teaching hatred of men and boys. Does it get any wackier than this? I hope not. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.